All right, so all of you guys wanted to see this video. Right here we have a 2009 Honda Civic Si FA5. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to change the coolant out of this car. So hope you guys enjoy. Step one, jack the car up. So I had to move the jack to this side because when I went to go put the drain pan underneath, the jack was in the way. So I'm just gonna jack it up here. Slide our drain pan underneath. Jack stand under the front. This is what we need to get undone is this little plastic drain bolt right here. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen that up and the coolant should just freely fall right out of there. So it's already loose. This is probably gonna be really hot. Is it hot? A little bit. All right, now, all right, so since that's pouring down here, we're gonna come up top and I'm gonna slowly remove the cap. Yeah, I'll be careful with that. It's definitely not type two though. Coolant's still flowing. We're about to just crack the cap. Unfortunately, we didn't let the motor cool down right now, so there's a lot of pressure in the system. So don't just go and twist your cap off when the engine is hot, because it will explode in your face. Slowly pull it off, like so. Still patiently waiting for everything to drain out of the radiator. Gonna disconnect the reservoir right here on the side. Literally all it is is a line. And I'm gonna drain out all the leftover crap that's in there so we can refill it up to the max line with some fresh. Where is it? All you have to do is pull upwards towards yourself. And there's a little like channel here and it slides right into a bracket. So as you guys can see down there, if you can, it's kind of crap. Look, look at that bill. Down, just like so. All right. Just, uh, yeah, like so. Wow. What do you think guys, type two or no? That looks like some like pre-stone 50-50 Walmart shit. Nah, so literally like water <laughs> oh my god off to the side right now because i gotta fill it up yeah yo just like that and then that bracket got bill wrenching we're gonna fill up the coolant res real quick up to the max line and then we can go ahead and add our new coolant into the radiator so let's get it in, boy. Type 2, kind of genuine. Only stuff you should run in the K-Series. Okay. Oh, 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 leak, leak. All right, so now we got the engine on. We're adding up some coolant into there. And right now, I'm just pretty much letting the air bleed out. Bill, I want you to hop in the um, car. Make sure the temperature is staying like low where it's supposed to be. I'm just gonna keep adding, topping this thing off, crack the radiator cap a little bit. Guys, I wouldn't recommend trying this, but I've done it before on my car. That's gonna allow the excess air to kind of leak out of the sides of that. It's gonna hop in right now to make sure the temperature is looking good, which it is. You guys enjoyed this video. The only thing we need to do now is make sure that the air is all out of the system. So we're gonna run the car and when it's cooled down, you gotta take the cap off, refill the radiator up to the top, and just keep doing that over and over. But I hope this was a helpful process for all of you guys. If you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up, drop your comments down below, and subscribe for some more do-it-yourself 8th gen content. And remember guys, never stop wrenching.